Hello, friends. We're gonna play something a little different. Um, an adventure game, a point-and-click adventure game called The Samaritan Paradox. It is by Screen7. They publish it, that is. Um, they publish a lot of, uh, Duffy. adventure game studio games. 1984. Alright, we got spoken dialogue. My name is Ord Solomon. Ord? I find codes, and then I crack them. It's what I do. And in just a week, Sweden will send mediators to the region to help negotiate a peace treaty. Critics have called into question Sweden's suitability as mediators, given our role as global exporters of weapons. Phone. Hello? Hello, Ward, it's Magnus. Oh, uh, hi. D did I catch you staring dreamily out of the window, searching the perpetual overcast for cracks? Well, that's where the light gets in. So, uh, had any time to look at the book I gave to you? Oh, uh, not quite yet. Uh, don't you think it could help you take your thoughts off the ciphers and codes for a moment? Are there any sure. ciphers and codes in it? It's by John M. Bergwall. You told me you like him. I liked him as a journalist, but as a writer of detective stories, uh, yeah, okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, just wanted to check on you, mate. Thanks, man. Everything's all right? Eating and sleeping and so on? Yes, yes, I am. Don't worry. Lunch Friday? Sure thing, Magnus. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, so... Looks like we have sort of a basic right click, right click to look, left click to investigate. This is inventory, it looks like. Oh, notebook. Okay, and I guess these are our current quests. What's wrong with IKEA furniture? Come on. That guy died then. So you're probably noticing that the resolution is low. It's because it's an adventure game studio game and a lot of people who make games in that engine like to make it in 320 by 240 or something like that. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a little bit blurry. The text is as, as um, blurry for me as it is for you. Let's see. There's nothing wrong with codes and ciphers. I like cryptograms. Let's pick up that new book. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The IKEA instructions made you cry? Furniture from IKEA is easy to put together. Look at the book. Hmm. 
Maybe he'll find it in one of these books? Okay, I don't know. Ooh, pint glass. Gimme, gimme. How will we start cracking it? button that shows all the hot spots. I I'm not a fan of games at this point that don't have a button for showing all the hot spots. everything. Let's at least do our, our duty here and help this plant. Wait, what? I guess I put the, the thing away. Wait, maybe I can use a thing in the thing. No. This is a great start to this episode. This is a great start to this potential new series, is me not knowing what to do in a room. Oh, oh. Okay, there's something I could pick up here. Okay, let me look at the code again. Alright, so 90... 68... Eight. Ten. 
75. There's one more. Magnus speaking. Hey, uh, it's me again. Hey, mate. You know the Bergwall book you gave me? Uh, the Last Secret? Yeah, you... I found a secret code right at the beginning. Jesus, you find codes everywhere. I've already cracked this one. I believe it means there's one more. One more of what? I have no idea. I see. You know what you should absolutely do? Uh, no. But I'm sure you're about to tell me. You should contact Jonathan Bergwall's daughter and let her know that you've deciphered his message to her. No, no, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't possibly do that. Besides, she probably already solved it. Then you could at least ask her what it means. This could give you a lot of inspiration for your essay. Come on, are you gonna rot away in that shadowy den all your life? Your life needs a new direction, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know. You keep telling me. Excitement! Wah. Go outside, meet new people, get some brand new impressions. You sound exactly like my psychologist, you know that? See? He leaves for that guy. More like too broke. And you look her up and give her a call. If you don't do it, I'll do it for you and arrange a meeting. Jeez. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Great. Pushy Your friend. Office. Yeah, sure thing. See ya. Recognize boundaries. Alright, we're out of that horrifying room. your coffee. Anything else? Uh, not for me. I'm good, thanks. One refill is included in the price. Uh, wow, price. so generous. So, thanks for meeting me. I have a feeling I should be thanking you. So, you found a hidden message in the beginning of the last secret? Yes. And it means there's one more? As far as I can tell, yeah. Did you read the rest of it? It's quite amazing. Did you say you're some kind of cryptologist? Yeah, among other things. All right. Do you know what the message refers to? Yes, it confirms my suspicions. It means there's one more book, contrary to the popular belief that the last secret is the last thing he wrote. And it is father's wish that I search for it and find it and read it. Wow, you got that I from three it's words? My inheritance. Really? What's in the book? I don't money. Sure, <laughs> just just I'm a bunch of money. It's money it put, put together in a book cover. It's a long story, really. This is a way for father to impose his will after his death. As my punishment for not being interested in his career and his writing and his journalistic endeavors. He never gave me a dime when I grew up. He believed gifts corrupt. Great and dad. He has many ideas about raising kids. There should be millions of Kronos somewhere hidden. I think the book will tell Kronor, huh? Mind. That's his plan. To force me through his book in order to get my inheritance. But I refuse to play along. I just won't do it. Oh, so you won't try to find it then? Out of spite? To be honest, Ord, I'm a bit afraid too. Afraid? I'm still. Book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what still I might find it. not sure on this dude's not name, sure. Ord. I would really like to read it. I would love to use this stuff in my PhD thesis. It's a great story. You know what? If you want to, you could help me. You could search for the book and read it, so I won't have to deal with it. If you succeed, we'll split the money. Ooh! Really? That's... Uh, that's a very generous proposal, but... I don't know if... Then it's a deal. Meet me in the Bergwall estate tomorrow. Way to go, Ord! So, here we are. Welcome to the Bergwall estate. It's a dull place, if you ask me. Oh, come on. Now only Cigna, my Lifestyles of the rich. Here. Anyway, when I was a child, father used to arrange treasure hunts. This mansion is so boring. House, each leading to another one. And in the end, there'd be candy or a present for me. I suspect he's arranged something similar now. Okay, so he's not the worst dad, but he's still not a great dad. I have. I'll give it to you. And you think the book is hidden here in the house? I have no idea. He has a cabin on Fardo, out in the archipelago where he used to write. It could be there. 
In fact, it could be anywhere. I'll give you the key to the cabin. Good, thanks. I'm staying at a friend's place today. I have to sort out some legal stuff surrounding father's death. If you have any questions about anything, I left the number by the phone. By the way, I've been telling people you're my boyfriend. That way you can move around here more freely. Alrighty. You didn't tell people about the book or ask around about it. You're here to help me sort out the practicalities. Oh. Well, I'll act supportive. Let's call her. <laughs> Alright, let's look around. Alright, let's go into the study. Ooh, fish tank. We've got some very, uh, Sierra-ish, Gabriel Knight-ish uh, visuals in this mansion. King Crimson, yeah. Let's take a look at this notice board. Oh, the book is right here. That book you were looking for was right on his desk. The whole time. The whole time. You didn't need to go on a quest at all. Haha. -ha. Stupid. Hmm. Yeah. Let's grab that weapon. Excuse me, uh, Signy? Objects were made to be picked up in an adventure game. Hello there. You must be Veronica. That's me, and you must be Ord, Sarah's boyfriend. Indeed. Yes, nice to finally meet you. Well, it's great that Sarah has someone to support her through this. I don't see her all that often these days, but I really like her. Smart and strong-willed. <laughs> That's a thing people to say to other people. Yes, I had. Hadn't I? It's funny. I reckon her boyfriend would be more of a... Yes? Jock, I guess. A go-getter kind of person. You're pleasantly laid back. Thanks. I guess. Oh gosh, is this gonna go down the nice guy route? So, you spend a lot of time here? You could say that. Especially after Jonathan died. But even before that, I mean, I was nursing him a whole lot too, frankly. Dude, we oh, don't need to know those details. Needy. Hasn't Sarah told you about her father yet? Well, she will. He was getting more absent-minded by the day. Like an old professor. I didn't mind taking care of him, too. They pay me well and treat me like family. Oh, cool. I can ask about stuff in my notebook. Let me ask about rent money. <laughs> Sarah's mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's a couple years ago. It's sad. What did she do before she got ill? When she was really young, she worked in the military. She was based on Fardo. Before they shut down all the military facilities there. Exactly what she did, I'm not sure of. I thought she'd be interested in talking about herself. So, did Jonathan have any writing projects going on Jonathan. when the time he passed away? Well, he had officially retired. But I think he was still writing stuff. Maybe his memoir or something. I wasn't particularly involved in all that. He kept returning to his cabin to write. But he never mentioned what it was. You seem very interested. Are you a writer too? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, 
Actually, I do write occasionally. Oops. Never mind. I was just curious. Jonathan Bergwald is a big name, after all. I knew you were a writer. You talk like one. Just like Jonathan. Oh, I don't know her that well. She's been here more often lately, after Jonathan passed away. She must be very busy in Stockholm. I bet she works all the time. Yeah, uh, yeah, she does. He was kind to me. But there wasn't much we could talk about. You know, he was very into politics and literature and everything. He was quite the libertarian. If something on the news got him upset, he'd talk about it all day. Then he'd go to his chamber and write about it. He always expected you to have strong opinions about stuff. And to be interested in stuff, you know? Sounds like my brother. See you soon, Ord. A workout program, but she's just sitting on the couch. Alright. Maybe I should go to that cabin. I should also look at this book. Oh darn it, I thought maybe it was like, you bore into the book. It's a pun! Alright. Oh! I didn't realize there was uh, more... It is the world. Ooh, that's that's an object to take. Let's look through this library. I thought maybe some games are coy and make you examine a thing multiple times before you finally find an object of interest. Is that a pet door? What is that? Alright, currently you have no interest in their basement. Safardo. Oh. No, I don't want to come back here. Oh, let me take the pint glass again. And let me fill it up. Listen, you can always use some water. Now I'll probably call what's his name. Magnus, my favorite Adventure Zone character. Hey, it's me. Lord, my friend. Nothing much. We're having a dinner tonight. Some friends are coming over. Some of Anika's colleagues, and... Well... Yeah? It's alright. I can take it. Joanna's coming too? Yeah. It's alright, Magnus. I'm over her. I don't dwell on that anymore. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I've got drunk. <laughs> he sounded very adventure. convinced. Really? See, I told you. Tell me what's going on. It's a long story, really. But I'm helping Jonathan Bergwall's daughter find a secret novel. I guess it's not that long. She really trust me. I can move around the Bergwall mansion freely. Well, you do have a trustworthy air about you. What does that mean? A bit of a pushover air about you, really. Whoa. Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Babyface. You look so harmless. The police use pictures of you to calm down rioters. Oh yeah? Yeah. Alright, I gotta get back to the case. Wow. I'll say hello to Anika for What me. a comeback. Oh well. And uh lunch on Friday? Sure, Magnus.
A horse figurine. I'm gonna see if it works on the pedestal. Interesting. Well, let's... Okay. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Let's go to the study. See what's going on with the study. Maybe there'll be a note about things. Oh yeah. This will be really pleasant for the nurse to hear. I thought I'd play this record of popular military signals. I hope that's okay while you're watching your workout program and sitting down. Signy. Who are you? I'm Ord. I'm a friend of Sarah's. Have you seen my husband? I'm afraid I haven't. He should be around to see me off. I'll soon be off to Fardo, I mean. You're going to the islands? Uh, to the cabin? What cabin? I'm going to the base to work. I... I understand. The war may be over, but we can never trust the Russians. Of course. Of course what? The... Russians... they... Who are you? Where is Jonathan? Oh boy. Sorry, I have to go now. Who are you? I'm... Of course. Uh, Don't you like this horse, Signy? Oh, I do. It's lovely. I bought it in Copenhagen. It reminds me of a poem Jonathan wrote. Ride south, my love, and okay. south. Ride east, but not too far. Ride west, my dear, until you see the lonely northern star. Okay, south, Feel east, west, north. It? Very. South, east, west, and north. I can't tell if that's north or south. East. And maybe it's like, um... Alright, hold on, let's try this. South. East. West. North. No? But I think it is like a safe combination. South. East. West. Oh! Dagnab, but that's right. Sorry. But maybe. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll ask Veronica, who would know nothing about Hello? this. There used to be a picture in the living room. By the pedestal, right? I believe 
Sarah had a few antiquities and pictures. Maybe she knows more. See you soon. All right. Let me go to the hall because I know there was a box of things to throw. Okay, then we'll just call her. Call her and ask. Hello? Hey, this is Ord. Oh, hi, Ord. The missing painting. Yeah, uh, the one they used to hang above the pedestal in the dining room. Oh, that one. We had to sell some stuff after Father passed away to afford keeping the house. Mother's private nurse alone costs a fortune. So you have sold it? Yes, we had an art dealer over a few days ago. He left with just that painting. He paid rather well. Can you describe the painting? It was called Polaris, I believe. Quite abstract, quite... egregious. Why are you wondering about it? Uh, could the painting give some sort of a uh, clue? Or perhaps contain anything? Did it have a paper backing? Oh. Not sure, really. Now that you mention it, it was kind of thick and might have had a paper backing. It's not impossible that it contained something. I'll check the address. Hold on. The address to the gallery is Linnaeus Street 31. Thanks. Uh, please try not to sell more things before we're done finding the book. <laughs> Sorry, I won't. I try uh my best to help. Okie dokie. Alright, we're going to continue on the uh, Samaritan Progress on the next episode. Um, so grab a snack and we'll be right back.